Yo, what is going on, guys? We're back with another Legends video, and as the Legends Festival starts to wrap up, right, we can all agree that this is definitely the best celebration of all time, right? Uh, before the Legends Festival started, I actually did make a video. I believe it was when I was predicting uh, whatever units we were going to see, right, throughout the different parts of the Legends Festival. I did mention that fifth year anniversary obviously was currently the best uh, celebration at that time, but it would only make sense for them to amp up the Legends Festival and to make it even a better, uh, greater celebration which um the 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 introduction of these raids that uh, where, where is it yeah the oh no it's not that one uh where's the raid is the introduction of this raid just definitely solidified its spot as the best celebration of all time this was insane the only thing that they messed up with was the part two banner the goku and bardock banner that's literally the only complaint uh a complaint i can say that i have for this festival right that banner was just atrocious uh that that's probably one of my worst shafts ever even though it was it was really only 30k cc but if you really think about it i feel like i would have been able to pull uh pull whatever unit or i would have been able to pull the unit um before that 30k cc if we just had the normal st uh, standard format probably off tickets uh probably off just a different step or something like that because this just this format was just awful the only thing i could say i liked about it is that it took less cc's to do a rotation but uh you know those rotations are just atrocious anyway but um yeah once again uh with the introduction of this uh raid right here which is actually the first thing on our list for t t today's video uh this just definitely solidified its spot you're just getting so much rewards let's, let's just go into it because again uh this is one of the very first things that I, you guys should make sure you uh get the most out of before it leaves right definitely you don't have to uh do everything right you don't have to clear the missions completely you don't have to complete every single exchange shop but just get as much as you can right and you, we all know that there's a bonanza going on right now there's just so many erasures in each shop there's just so many things right so again we're just going to start off with this raid uh if you haven't gotten the z power ready for doing 20 runs uh, 20 runs on each um stage definitely make sure you get that done because what are you doing if you haven't right um you guys should have already did that a while ago because this event is like a week old now right so um yeah i definitely got that done like the second day this thing was out i had to get that z power i had to get goku and bardock to six stars so uh yeah i definitely made sure i uh cleared that out so hopefully you guys did too but uh yeah going on to the exchange shop here uh you definitely want to make sure you get the legends limited z power the sparking z power uh the extreme z power if you really care about it me personally i don't really care about extreme because they're literally unusable but i guess i could take one and uh, just stock it up right um uh yeah definitely want to make sure you get these arts cores especially these right these are the large ones that they were talking about uh you definitely do have a huge success rate and um arts boosting your characters this is this is what i use to actually fully arts boost my goku and bardock and gohan right those are the first two units in this game that i actually got all three uh slots uh max soul boosted right or mark max arts boosted right i got their uh, strike their blast and then their special whatever uh it's actually called i got all of those to 99 out of 99 and these things definitely helped a lot so uh make sure you can clear it from every shop this is like one of the items you definitely want to clear every shop from because once it leaves who knows when we're getting it back right probably not until anniversary right so uh this is probably something you want to stock up on before it goes away because again i highly doubt we see this thing back until the anniversary right um on this side nothing really crazy you could get this from every shop as well but obviously um it, there's tons to go around right i could just get all these races if i really wanted to but um yeah oh actually you're not getting max on each thing oh actually no you are because it's a step right so that means there's still another step even after you get this 300 so yeah just you definitely want to abuse these races again there's a bonanza going on collect as much as you can go <clears throat> go roll some eclipse z plus or godly come back get some more erasers and uh zenny is obviously usually right under this you're able to get 25 billion zenny across all five races shops right you're getting what that means you're getting five billion per um uh, exchange shop right obviously the max you could hold is 10 billion which is actually something i just found out uh thanks to this because i never had that much zenny before right but once i got the max i was like oh there's actually a cap on this right which actually sucks because i wanted to just uh get as much zenny as possible but uh just make sure at least you leave the celebration with 10 billion zenny right try to uh, uh there's no way you're going to be able to spend 25 billion zenny right i just don't see it even if you're uh guaranteed boosting even if you're soul boosting obviously arch boosting also takes zenny there's 
there's no way you you spend 25 billion zenny i mean i guess if you didn't have a lot of characters done then maybe you do end up spending all of it but me personally i'm gonna make sure i leave this celebration with 10 million zenny and after i'm done with everything as well right because there's not much i really have to do right maybe i have to roll some equips uh get some characters arts boosted right which again that also takes a ton of zenny so um even after all that i'll definitely still make sure i have uh the max amount of zenny you're able to hold uh just for future references because they don't really give us a lot of zenny a, a lot of resources in general uh during normal celebrations it's really only during the anniversary and during legends festival where we're able to max out on these resources right which uh brings us to the next topic which is just the general exchange shops right like this one uh you should have a ton of these coins right obviously i did but obviously you can see the numbers low here because i've been spending it on stuff uh there was a lot of stuff here actually right um i, I can't even uh remember what, what, what all was here i remember there was like a uh uh, a wallpaper or like pvp messages and stuff like that but obviously whatever you don't see here and whatever was here is obviously cleared out right because i bought all of it um you have a uh, arts cores here which obviously i can't buy the max of so i'm not gonna really spend it yet uh, you have a uh, soul exchange medals that's actually some stuff that uh, uh that's actually what uh, some of my uh legends festival coins went towards for sure um some erasers you could obviously exchange it unlimited time so uh there's that and then obviously no one really cares about these two because you're able to get zenny elsewhere and you're also able to get uh, gold bars elsewhere right so or gold bells right which uh i guess is really the only training items people use nowadays so uh the legend festival place right make sure uh you also clear this out there again tons of resources there's actually a bunch of any in here as well uh the platinum coins and there's a whole bunch of other stuff here that i can't remember but just know uh, obviously it's not here because it was cleared out right obviously bought all of it so um there's that um the tickets here you can um exchange some of your silver into gold uh which i mean i don't really want the, to do that anymore because i'm not buying any of this i already have all the messages and i don't really care about these uh title cards or uh sleeves because i'm not going to use them right so i mean i guess for collector's purposes or actually i have to get this gogeta one right but um actually let's just do that right now right uh it's gogeta we gotta get it right so is that all the gogetas yep 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 so yeah we're pretty much done then um so yeah uh just basically just go through these exchange shops and make sure you get everything that you can uh if you haven't done treasure battle already they did renew the cc which obviously it's gone because i already bought it uh make sure you do that <clears throat> i'm not sure why they took away the 50 rp that we usually get from it but um just make sure you get these uh bouquets or whatever they're called yeah the blessed bouquets make sure you get that and uh try to clear as much of the shop as possible after the cc's i didn't really care so i kind of stopped playing treasure battle Legends Battle Royale is going on right now. Uh, you're able to get twice the CC, right? So, or three times, I think. I think you're able to get either 400 or 600 uh, CC. Whoever knows, you could just let me know down below. Either way, you're able to get some CCs from here. So, obviously, it's gone because I already cleared it out. Uh, the messages, too, if you guys are collecting messages. I'm definitely a messages collector. I have almost everyone in the game. I'm pretty sure I'm probably missing a few, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you, you are clear their shop uh, and get some of uh, the... Uh, the cc's that it has to offer right who who doesn't love cc's and i guess z power too if you're trying to uh, focus on some uh one percent sparklings and whatnot right so yeah just make sure you uh clear out these exchange shops because you definitely do want to get as much uh valuable resources as possible because again once it goes away who knows when we're getting it back right so yeah just go through these exchange shops see see what type of uh, resources you guys have and what you could spend it on and uh whatever you can just you know get it done uh holy boy obviously you always want to make sure you get the first couple uh the first seven steps right get that cc get those messages get those erasers get those uh obviously the juicy juicy uh z power right the amount of z power that they actually are uh, actually we got a roll over here let's actually do it the amount of z power that they gave us cool we got a coin here is is is, is insane right like I, it's unfathomable you're able to just get so much z power throughout this whole celebration it's actually insane of them to do right so um yeah just again make sure you go to horde point to try to clear that out as much as possible so uh the next really thing the next thing you really want to go to is the missions just go through all your missions and make sure you cleared it out um in terms of the cc missions i believe it was here or maybe it had its own tab but uh you guys know when you're collecting the electric festival medals you're able to get cc you guys should have been done with that by now but if you guys still have that mission left 
I don't know what you guys are doing, right? Make sure you collect those Legends Festival coins and get those CCs, right? It's literally a thousand free CC. What are you doing? Or it's a uh, four thousand, right? Or is it three thousand? However much CC it is in total, uh, do do not miss out on not a one thousand at all, right? Make sure you get all of it. Basically, is what I'm trying to tell you guys, right? So yeah, just again go through your missions and make sure you clear them out. Also, uh, get these tickets right because uh, after you get them, you're able to do the summon over here. Uh, this is the second time we're able to do it, right? The first time was right before part two or as part two started right so i believe we will get the final tickets next week right because i did not see up to 30 tickets in that uh mission uh tab right there right so uh next reset we should be able to get the last um uh the last uh of the bunch right and we should be able to do this which actually has a way better batch right you can see it has rev ui the tag fours i mean the first batch was obviously pretty good i guess beast, blue beast was not bad as well uh mui could definitely use supply but he's actually not that bad from when i from what i've been using him recently right but uh he could definitely use supply so yeah you're able to get nine here so we'll probably get the last 11 next week with the with the um next bunch of missions right so again also make sure you do your co-op runs get the silver plates but i mean that's not really mandatory i guess uh make sure you get this piccolo done as well uh definitely go through the missions i have him at 13 stars right now i believe i just yeah i just got to take care of a few missions and he'll definitely be at 14 how much z power do i have so i need a uh, 400 z power technically right so uh to get him done there so uh yeah yeah again just go through your missions uh make sure you guys got everything done and uh you'll be pretty much good to go so the last thing i want to uh take a look at is take advantage of this bonanza right we all know that the bonanzas most of the time scans right they they like to put mega and ultra and and all these big titles in front of it to, to to get you guys to think you're easily gonna roll these equips but the truth is i mean you do definitely like you can see the difference right to where there's a bonanza and there's where where there's not a bonanza right because i've been actually god leaning slash e plusing the hell out of these equips i'm not gonna lie right i'm on the side where i'm actually on the uh the luckier side of this bonanza right but um i feel like they uh did kind of tweak the rates a little bit with this ultra bonanza right quote unquote ultra uh but again there there are those who still can't get a roll even with this bonanza going on but you definitely want to take advantage of this uh go through your equips man just or actually just you don't even come to this tab you go to the tab where you have your um where you have your teams right and then obviously you go through your top three units that you're using and then just make sure every equip is as good as possible right and definitely not telling you to make sure that it's a uh, max roll right like oh my god like perfectly rolled but just go make sure that you know if there's if it's like a gold slot you definitely want to upgrade it to a yellow slot and uh you know stuff like that and if you could get it to a godly i guess that's pretty good but that's definitely not the target because the difference between godly and a z plus is definitely minuscule right and also i do get this question a lot so i do want to answer it here um people do ask what's the difference between base and then just not base right so like when it says uh just strike attack to a character or uh yeah stuff like that that's basically a pure so what it does does is it adds up all the base that you're getting and then if it doesn't have base in front of it that means it's a peer and basically what the peer does is it uh takes the final number of uh whatever uh the uh base totals are and it basically it magnifies it right it basically increases it by a time i believe it multiplies i don't want to say multiplies because i'm not really sure but all i know for sure is that it magnifies that uh base total and it uh skyrockets it right that's why you're able to do so much damage if you have a bunch of pure or if you have a bunch of base and then a pure item uh, on your character you're able to do so much because again uh the the peer just magnifies the base totals which if you have zenkai buffs if you have z abilities and all that stuff it's definitely a high number right the base comes out to be a high number so again the peer just lifts it it just again i'm just gonna use the term magnifies it because it does definitely take it up by a lot so that's why you're able to do so much more uh damage <clears throat> when you have a peer item on your character so that's that's basically the difference right uh base is just a, a bunch of numbers calculated whereas peer is basically again magnifying that base total right so it just it skyrockets that uh the the total right in terms of what, how much damage you're doing so uh, yeah that's pretty much the difference um and uh yeah again just go through your equips uh try to get as much slots as uh possible i'm not really looking to upgrade anything except for this ui equip even though i don't have them yet uh it is a gold slot on the first but i don't really care again you don't really have to go for godly it's literally just an aesthetic thing but uh this is definitely the equip that i've been working on i mean i maybe i'll go back in since it's the bonanza because i did i believe roll for this or i did go for this before the bonanza 
started so um i'll definitely probably go back and try to get a gold slot or a red slot but i'm not gonna hunt for it if i see that i'm not getting it in like a couple uh you know a couple skip tickets uh a couple hundred skip tickets then i'm just gonna leave it be right again i don't even have the unit yet so um I, I, it really doesn't mean anything right now so yeah uh and also make sure you just arch boost your characters as much as you can because if you guys don't know arch boosting does take a bunch of zenny so this is where you want to abuse those raid shops right clear out the zenny come arch boost your characters also the 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 big arch boost that we talked about in the beginning um in those raid shops uh you want to use those as well because you're getting more much more of a chance definitely there's a difference i again i could tell you uh if we go down here uh does these mean oh no no this arch boost sorry or soul boost uh if we go down here i believe yeah you only see these two grayed out because they're both max right again i used the big arch boost for it and it was definitely it was definitely a much easier to uh, get these guys done so yeah um just go through see the characters that you use the most obviously those two are going to be the characters that i use the most for now uh until the next big thing comes out i guess call me a meta sheep or whatever you guys like calling those type of people but uh <laughs> that's the point of the game you're just supposed to move on with the times not stay with these old units that uh unfortunately fell off the train which uh goku and freeze is definitely a big name in that so uh yeah i don't want to make this video too long so yeah just make sure you guys uh exchange uh clear those exchange shops especially the raid ones uh do your soul boosting and arts boosting right uh do uh when i say soul boosting i mean for like uh zenkai characters because those do take a lot more resources uh than normal right so when i say soul boosting i definitely do mean zenkai units obviously soul boosting a regular unit takes literally minuscule materials but uh zenkai uh arts boosting definitely does take a lot more so make sure you get uh, those Zenkai units that you do use out the way like Bardock or whatever other uh, Bardock I'm talking about in my case but he's already done right but I'm just uh again example uh next just clear out um all the exchange shops in general right i already talked about the raid exchange shop but make sure you guys clear out the regular ones like the legend festival coins or the glow plates or whatever um and uh yeah make sure you co complete that uh your treasure battles definitely make sure you get those bouquets and get the cc if you haven't already uh the uh what's it called the uh the legend battle royale again all of that falls into exchange shop uh make sure you get these missions done right whatever missions you see you haven't got uh everything done for uh make sure you go back in get them done and then last but not least take advantage of this bonanza get as much equips as possible and uh leave this legend festival stocked up on materials because you're already done with what you had to do right so again uh you know use as much zenny as possible use as much skip tickets energy uh erasures as possible and then restock on them because you should have enough to uh leave this event with a plentiful even at, or uh, this uh, celebration i to say you should have way more than enough materials to leave with it even after you're done doing what you have to do throughout the game uh to uh have enough to, for, until anniversary right if you guys really uh abuse and juice out every single uh exchange shop there is so yeah hope you guys did enjoy if you did hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you're new we are on the road to 2000 subs all support is greatly greatly appreciated as always and uh let me know down below if you guys have any questions i'll be happy to answer them and i'll see you all in the next one